Embark with us on a journey into the depths of the ocean where the Earth's formidable forces have sculpted immense underwater crevices. These geological wonders concealed beneath the waves unveil the incredible power that shapes our planet. Join me in today's video as we unveil the largest and most captivating underwater cracks. Banua Wuhu Situated in the Sangia Islands of Indonesia, a chain of volcanic islands nestled in the Celebes Sea in the western Pacific. This region is marked by heightened volcanic activity, with some islands still hosting active mounts. The surrounding waters also boast a significant concentration of volcanoes. Among these, Banua Wuhu stands out as the most impressive. Located approximately 28 miles south of the largest island group, the Sangia Basa, this submarine volcano rises more than 1,300 feet from the sea floor. Its volcanic activity spans hundreds of years, and during eruptions, small temporary islands form on the surface, only to be gradually eroded by the relentless waves in the ensuing decades. What sets Banua Wuhu apart is its unusual feature. The summit of this submarine volcano sits just 16 feet below the water's surface. Coupled with its proximity to the nearby islands, this makes it the sole submarine volcano in the world that allows tourists to swim and dive in its waters. Visitors can experience the unique opportunity of getting close enough to feel the warmth of the released bubbles and witness captivating structures that have evolved over centuries of volcanic activity. Tonga Tonga Hunga Haapai About 40 miles north of Tonga Tapu, there's a big underwater volcano called Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai. It sits above a place called the Kermadec Tonga Subduction Zone, where one piece of Earth's crust goes beneath another. This volcano is known for shaking a lot, and in 2021 it got super powerful, reaching 6,500 feet above the sea floor. This volcano, with a base about 12.5 miles wide, has erupted majorly three times in the last 15 years, in 2009, late 2014, and the strong one in 2021. The 2021 eruption was so big that it caused tsunamis hitting coasts in Tonga, Fiji, New Zealand, Japan, and the US. It's the mightiest eruption since 1883, stronger than a nuclear bomb or any other volcano recorded. People described it like a magma hammer that made four underwater pushes, moving a huge amount of rock and forming powerful tsunamis even though it's far from nearby islands. The 2021 eruption caused a lot of damage, so scientists now watch it closely, hoping to warn people if something similar happens again. This volcano, Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai, is a hotspot for studying these powerful underwater volcanic activities. The West Mata Volcano There's another underwater volcano in the southwest Pacific, about 124 miles southwest of Samoa. It's super far away and very deep in the ocean. This volcano is part of a bigger group called the Mata Volcano Group, known for things like earthquakes and eruptions. West Mata goes up to 9,500 feet from the ocean floor, but because it's so deep, its top is 3,800 feet below the ocean surface. This extreme depth makes it hard for scientists to study. Only in 2009, using special vehicles, researchers managed to record a video of an eruption. It was the second deepest eruption ever seen. One surprising discovery at West Mata is the black smoker hydrothermal vents on its summit. These vents shoot out really hot water with minerals and chemicals, creating a special environment for organisms that like high pressure and high temperatures. Scientists find this hidden underwater world fascinating and full of secrets. The Tasmanian Sea Mounts these are a chain of hundreds of underwater mountains found deep in the Tasman Sea, which is the body of water between Australia and New Zealand. These submerged peaks were formed supposedly 55 million years ago by volcanic activity at the Tasman hotspot. This hotspot is still active today and extends as a 2,000-meter mantle plume beneath the Earth's crust, even influencing Mount Erebus in Antarctica, which is the continent's second-largest volcano. The Tasmanian seamounts cover an area of over 16 miles and reach depths of around 6,000 feet. While they are no longer actively volcanic, these mountains have been around for so long that they've become crucial for the ecosystem. The seamounts act as hotspots for marine biodiversity because of the upwelling currents around them, bringing nutrient-rich waters to the surface. 
This creates favorable conditions for various forms of life, including coral reefs, sponges, and a variety of fish species. Research expeditions in this region have not only provided insights into the formation of these underwater formations, but also led to the discovery of new marine species unique to this area. These findings have prompted the declaration of a 143-square-mile region as a protective marine reserve. This marine reserve represents about 70% of the known Tasmanian seamounts, which is a significant step toward conserving this underwater ecosystem, encompassing one-fifth of the seamounts that have been charted so far. Kavachi Kavachi is a really active underwater volcano in the Solomon Islands in the South Pacific. Discovered in 1939, it has popped up above the water at least eight times. Right now, it's about 3,600 feet tall under the sea and comes really close to the surface, only 66 feet down. Because it's so close to the top, when it erupts, it puts on quite a show with ash, steam, volcanic gases, and even shooting out molten lava. These eruptions are visible from the surface, and scientists have been watching and studying them. In 2000, there was a big eruption where lava shot 230 feet in the air and steam went up to 1,600 feet. Even though not every eruption is that powerful, Kavachi is considered one of the most active volcanoes on Earth because it regularly changes the color of the water around it. Interestingly, Kavachi has a pattern. It goes through times of activity and rest, and eruptions happen now and then. Sometimes these eruptions make small temporary islands on the ocean's surface, but these islands don't last long, just a few days, because of the type of rock and the movement of the ocean. Even though it's far away and not easy to get to, scientists keep an eye on Kavachi. Its unique and active behavior, plus being close to the surface, make it a great place to study how the stuff it releases and the temporary islands it makes affect the local environment and create homes for living things. The Bunt Cake Volcano Now let's talk about an interesting discovery in the ocean off the coast of California. Thanks to various research projects, this area is one of the most studied parts of the ocean. Scientists often find surprising things that change our understanding of the ocean floor. In early 2023, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, used a special tool, the Sail Drone Surveyor, to explore a region about 200 miles off the coast. Normally, undersea mountains called seamounts are expected to be closer to the shore. But this time they found something different, not like anything seen before. It looked like a bunt cake, standing at 3,200 feet above the ocean floor. Even though it's a bit short to be officially called a seamount, it turns out to be the remains of an ancient volcano. The top of this volcano is about 1,200 feet below sea level. What makes it unusual is that unlike typical volcanoes or seamounts with sloping sides, this one is round and has steep sides. There are a couple of ideas about how it got this way. One theory is that it formed during a series of quick and intense eruptions happening one after the other. This pace didn't give the usual slopes enough time to form. Another idea is that its strange shape is due to its age. It might be a glimpse into how today's active underwater volcanoes could look millions of years from now, as they become a valuable source of nutrients for marine animals. In a fun twist, it's even suggested that the unusual shape might be the result of many, many years of fish poop collecting, solidifying and building up in such large amounts that it shaped the slopes in this peculiar way. The Bermuda New England Seamount Arc The Bermuda New England Seamount Arc is like a chain of underwater mountains in the North Atlantic Ocean, from New England to Bermuda. It's a mix of different sized mountains formed supposedly over millions of years. One famous mountain in this chain is the Bear Sea Mount, not far from New England. It's a big underwater mountain, around 12,000 feet tall, made by ancient volcanoes. The whole chain of mountains is connected to how Earth's plates move, especially between North America and Eurasia. The region's geological activities, like volcanoes and plates interacting, also cause strange gravity things. This has led to mysteries in the Bermuda Triangle like problems with electronics and compasses. Marsili Now let's talk about Marsili, the biggest volcano in the Mediterranean Sea near Naples, Italy. It's part of a long chain of undersea mountains believed to have been formed a couple of million years ago. Marsili became a volcano around 200,000 years ago, it's believed, and stands about 9,800 feet tall from the ocean floor, with its tip about 1,476 feet below the water. 
It's one of Europe's largest volcanoes, even bigger than Mount Etna. Marsili hasn't erupted for a very long time, about a thousand years, but it's considered sleeping, and there's a chance it could wake up and erupt any time. Scientists are worried about Marsili's shape, thinking it might collapse during a big eruption. This could create tsunamis, really big ocean waves, and be dangerous for places around the Mediterranean. To keep an eye on Marsili and warn people if needed, scientists have been watching it closely since 2005, using special tools like sensors and sonar devices. The Gardener Pinnacles The Gardener Pinnacles, located about 588 miles northwest of Honolulu, Hawaii, are two rock formations rising 170 feet above the water's surface, surrounded by a large reef. These, like other Hawaiian islands, were shaped by volcanic activity. However, beneath the ocean's surface lies a massive structure known as the Gardener Pinnacles, which is the remaining part of an ancient volcano called the Puahonu Volcano. Scientists believe that the Puahonu Volcano is the largest single shield volcano on Earth. Recent studies have revealed that this mountain holds as much as 36,000 cubic miles of rock. Surprisingly, only a third of this volume is visible above the sea floor, while the rest is buried beneath debris eroded from the volcano's peak. To put this in perspective, Puahonu is more than twice the size of Mauna Kea, the tallest known shield volcano on Earth. The weight of Puahonu has caused the Earth's crust to sink several thousand feet over the supposed millions of years it's been there. Thankfully, Puahonu volcano is long extinct, meaning it's not active anymore. However, if it were to wake up and erupt, or if a similar new volcano formed with the explosive potential of Puahonu, the consequences would be significant and affect life across the planet. The Davidson Sea Mount The Davidson Sea Mount is a huge underwater mountain off the coast of central California. It's part of a protected area called the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. This sea mount is significant because it's one of the largest found on Earth, stretching 26 miles long and 8 miles wide. Even though its peak is 7,400 feet above the sea floor, it's still 4,100 feet below the ocean's surface. Discovered in 1933, researchers couldn't study it much until recently due to its depth. The Davidson Sea Mount is useful for scientists to understand how underwater mountains form. When lava and material come out during an underwater eruption, they create unique structures as they cool rapidly. This sea mount is thought by some to have formed around 15 million years ago and to have last erupted around 10 million years ago. Over time, it has become a home for many different species, like 27 types of deep-sea coral and about 230 marine animals. It's now protected to keep this marine environment safe. Studying sea mounts like this helps scientists learn more about life under the ocean. Surprisingly, even though we thought deep parts of the ocean were almost empty, Places like the Davidson Seamount show us that there might be big and thriving ecosystems down there that we didn't know about before. Fanny Moore Fanny Moore is a small French island in the Indian Ocean between Madagascar and Mozambique. It's believed to have been formed millions of years ago because of volcanoes. The island is usually quiet without earthquakes, but in 2018, something unusual happened. Seismic stations worldwide, even in Hawaii, noticed signs of a big earthquake near Mayotte that lasted about 20 minutes. Oddly, nobody on the island felt the ground shaking. After that, many more earthquakes of different strengths happened. Almost a year later, a group of researchers went to investigate. They heard from fishermen about strange smells and dead fish near the island. Surprisingly, they discovered a massive underwater volcano still erupting about 31 miles from Mayotte and 11,500 feet below the surface. It's believed to be the biggest underwater eruption ever recorded. This volcano caused all the earthquakes because things pushed up from inside the earth. Its activity even made the island of Mayotte move 10 inches to the east and sink about 7.5 inches. Now, it's a very active area, with the volcano having a tall cone and a wide diameter. People on the island are ready in case it erupts again. The Hava Volcano The Hava Volcano is a huge underwater mountain in the southwestern Pacific Ocean near New Zealand. It's part of the Kermadec Tonga subduction zone, where one part of the Earth's crust moves beneath another. This process has created a chain of underwater mountains and volcanoes in the region, and Hava is the biggest of them all. Even though it's around 3,000 feet below the ocean surface, 
it's one of the largest underwater volcanoes on Earth. Surprisingly, people didn't know about Hava until 2012. In that year, there was a massive eruption that lasted for over 90 days. During this time, lava came out of 14 vents around the summit of the volcano. This eruption was like the one that happened at Mount St. Helens in 1980. About 75% of the material released made it to the surface, creating temporary floating islands in the area. These islands were discovered by someone on a passing flight, leading to the volcano's identification. Satellites were then used to look at the ocean region and they found a large debris field made up of rock. This was different from previous eruptions because the lava didn't just flow into the water, it solidified instantly due to the high pressure at such depths. This formed long, snake-like rock structures that could extend for miles, creating a continuous structure in some cases. The Explorer Sea Mount The Explorer Sea Mount is a sunken underwater mountain in the northeastern Pacific Ocean, about 162 miles off the coast of British Columbia, Canada. Scientists think it was formed by volcanic activity over millions of years. It has a unique shape with steep slopes and a flat summit, sitting on the Explorer Ridge, an area with a lot of tectonic activity where the Pacific and Explorer tectonic plates meet. The summit of this seamount is 2,300 feet below the ocean's surface. The volcanic activity has not only created a chain of seamounts but has also had a significant impact on the surrounding area. The nutrient-rich waters here, caused by upwelling currents, support a diverse range of marine life. This underwater ecosystem is crucial along Canada's coast, hosting cold-water corals, sponges and various fish species. Some of the corals found here are ancient and slow-growing, providing valuable insight into the long-term development of deep-sea reefs. However, these corals are vulnerable to disturbances and there is a need to protect them from human activities. Activities like bottom trolling and mining are prohibited in this sensitive area. Researchers hope that ongoing studies of the Explorer Seamount will help us better understand the development and survival of these crucial marine habitats, which are now recognized as some of the most important on Earth. The Home Reef The Home Reef is a temporary volcanic island that appears and disappears above a submarine volcano near Tonga in the Tofua Volcanic Arc. This region has many active volcanoes and the Home Reef volcano is unique because its summit is just 33 feet beneath the waves. The visible effects on the surface make it one of the most regularly studied undersea volcanoes. It has formed temporary islands at least six times, with some ash rafts traveling as far as Australia. In September 2022, the Home Reef volcano erupted again, creating an island around 15 acres in size. The eruption continued into September 2023, suggesting the island might become more permanent until the next eruption. Tamu Massif the Tamu Massif is an enormous underwater volcano in the northern Pacific Ocean, part of the Shatsuki Rise, 990 miles east of Japan. This volcano is massive, covering over 100,000 square miles, larger than the state of New Mexico. Its summit is 14,620 feet above the ocean floor, but still 6,500 feet below the surface. Discovered in 1993, it's one of the largest volcanic structures on Earth and possibly in our solar system. Despite its size, it's believed to have formed through relatively mild and effusive eruptions, supposedly over millions of years. The Tamu Massif challenges previous beliefs about Earth's volcanic history, showing a more active past than previously thought. Fortunately, we now live in a quieter period with less volcanic activity. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up.